Hello and welcome back to My Mom's Basement. It is a My Mom's Basement quick hitter with Robbie and Clem. We are here to talk about The Batman, the new look at The Penguin and The Riddler from Matt Reeves' Batman movie. It was provided to us by Collider. There's uh, probably the best look at The Riddler yet and just a new look at the unrecognizable Colin Farrell as The Penguin. It's pretty crazy. We know we're going to get a Scarface-like series about The Penguin on HBO Max after The Batman movie as well which kind of sounds awesome in my mind. But the big thing that everyone's talking about here is the Riddler's look inspired by the Zodiac Killer. It's the best look at him yet. And I think it's awesome. I'm a big fan of it. I was going to ask because I needed to know the Bob Fox uncut to the gut opinion because this is, I feel like, the biggest change we're going to get from a villain in the like old shows, the cartoons, all that stuff to now. The, the Riddler always seemed kind of quirky and cartoonish, even in real life when Jim Carrey was him, right? And they have the question marks everywhere and he just seems like larger than life. This motherfucker seems terrifying. <laughs> he seems yeah. terrifying. Something you see in New York City, and you turn around and walk the other way if he's on the subway, right? I don't even know what that mask is. It's almost like a flap. It's like, a, you know, in this almost Boba Fett green, a flap over his face, and he puts the glasses over it, which is even more creepy because you're like, that doesn't work, but it kind of does with his Riddler outfit and everything. It's something that it looks like a serial killer would wear, which if we look at the Riddler in the scope of this new Gotham, this Matt Reeves, dark Battinson Gotham, I think he is going to be a creepy ass serial killer. I could see Paul Dano getting that Oscar nom I talked about in the last quick hitter. The glasses is what really stuck out for me. That is two glasses guys here. Now that I'm older, I have to rock the spectacles as well. I have to say like, that's something like a serial killer probably has to wear glasses and he's, he's not going to wear contact lenses. That would just be too practical, right? He's a fucking serial killer. So he's just going to throw the glasses out over the top. That mask, I got to know, like the origin story. We're going to get the origin story for that mask and it's going to be a good one. Imagine someone showing up at the Barstool office, just fucking rocking that and just like Portnoy doesn't scare much. If someone just knocks on his, like, this isn't me, but I'm telling you, Doug's could pull that look off. If Doug's just comes in, just this <laughs> towering human and just throws the fucking green mask on, because he kind of looks like Doug's. Even Doug's is too wholesome, like though. Doug's tries to pull that off. He looks like the Scranton Strangler or something. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the thing. This look could even make Doug's look scary. That's how fucking badass. And again, the question mark with the little, I don't know if those are like bullseyes or something like that. You know, yeah, it's like a question mark in the crosshair or something. Yeah. I, I, I like everything about it. And I love the way that Colin Farrell looks as the penguin. It's much more comic accurate representation. His face. I mean, I don't know how they did that with makeup and special effects or whatever. Give them the Oscar now, the makeup team for the Batman, because they made him unrecognizable as unrecognizable as Paul Dano is and he's wearing a fucking face covering mask we're going straight Tony Soprano we're taking it back fucking the Saints of Newark no way man we're fucking the Saints of Gotham now we're gonna have Tony Soprano in the fucking Batman universe and if you had said who is that 50 guesses would have come close come close to Colin Farrell so as a as a fellow big guy and a, f a fellow Italian there I kind of like my, my people and I feel like they're being re represented very well and the ring that middle finger, like ruby red, you know, gem in it. What a ring that is. I, I dig it. I like his blazer too. It's like a fire blazer. It looks like something Bruce Buffer would wear to announce a <laughs> UFC card or something. That is a buffer blade. That's the, I yeah. couldn't think of what who like, would wear that. Bruce Buffer is the correct name. That's why Bob Fox said this is wheelhouse shit. MMA meets fucking the comic world, and that blazer came out. <laughs> so there you go. Two thumbs up from me, two thumbs up from Clem on both the Riddler and the Penguin's new look. Before we get out of here, I do want to mention Ed Brubaker was just hired to be a writer on Batman Caped Crusader, which is the new almost, people are saying the continuation of Batman the Animated Series. It's from the same team. Ed Brubaker credited with basically creating the Winter Soldier. He's co-credited because he didn't create Bucky, but he turned Bucky into the Winter Soldier that we all know today. He is responsible for the Winter Soldier movie basically existing because that whole storyline was taken from his comic run. And he is one of the most esteemed comic writers in the world. So the fact that they brought him into the Cape Crusader, he said Batman the Animated Series is what made him inspired to write comics in the first place makes me so hopeful for that show, even more hopeful than I was in the past. That's a guy you want to have a franchise in his hand that you care about, right? So with all Batman stuff, I go off of Bob Fox's excitement. It usually is a 10 out of 10, but I can tell there he's is. right now. He got, it on the he got it on the skin. That's how you know he loves <laughs> this shit. <laughs> I can't wait. It's going to be a great year and a great future as a Batman fan, I think. The Gotham TV show on HBO, the Penguin TV show on HBO, all of it. I can't wait. It all kicks off with the Batman in March. What did I tell you? We're hoping for an eight and eight season. You guys are on the right track. Keep it going right now. Those things, the costumes here, 
that feels like a little preseason highlight or something in training camp. Like, ooh, rookie looks good. That's what that is right now. We're on the right track. 8-8, let's go, DC.